this example, we are asked to do a two-step operation, B prime minus A, involving these sets, which are given to us in interval notation. We realize that the universe must be real numbers because the sets are given to us in this notation. The first step is for us to map set A on the number line. Set A is from negative infinity to 2, with the 2 not included. So I am shading from negative infinity to 2 on my number line. The 2 is an open circle because it is not included. And over here I can put a dot, dot, dot to show that it continues towards negative infinity. Set B is from negative 2 included. So I put a solid circle at negative 2 to 4 not included. I put an open circle at 4, and I shade in between them. I don't have to graph set C for this question because it's not involved in the question. The first operation I'm going to do is my B prime. B prime simply means the opposite of B, so negative 2 is going to have an open circle, 4 is going to have a solid circle. I'm not shading in between them, and I am shading from negative 2 to negative infinity, and from 4 to positive infinity. Everything is the complement of B, that is B prime. Finally, I have to do my subtraction. From B prime, I am going to subtract A. From B prime, I am subtracting anything that is also in A. Therefore, all of the numbers between negative infinity and negative 2 are going to be subtracted and will not be in the answer. Set A does not have the numbers from 4 to infinity, so they are not there to subtract. So therefore, the 4 to infinity will still be in my answer. And I put dot, dot, dot to show it continues. <clears throat> my answer, therefore, is from 4 included to positive infinity. And I will give my answer on the number line, but also in interval notation. And the example is done. And now we have question 2. We are asked to do an intersection between set C and set B and then union the answer with set A. Again, it is two steps in the problem. This is why we had a set C given at the beginning of the question, because the first question didn't involve it, but the second question does. So I have already graphed sets A and B, and I've left them here. Now I have to graph set C. It is from negative 1 included to 5 included. So at negative 1, I need a solid circle. At 5, I need a solid circle. And I am shading in between them. Now we are doing an intersection between set C and set B. The intersection means any value that is in both is in the answer. The numbers that are in both start at negative 1. and continue onwards to 4. But 4 has to be an open circle, because 4 is not in both sets. It's only in set C. The numbers between negative 2 and negative 1 are not in both sets, so they are not in the answer. The numbers between 4 and 5 are not in both sets, so they are not in the answer. Now I have to do a union between set A up here and the intersection of C and B that I have here. Union means if it is in either set, it has to be in the answer. The numbers from negative infinity up to 2 are in set A, so they have to be in the answer. And the numbers from 2 till 4 are in the intersection, so they have to also be in the answer. So we, not, we do not stop at 2. We go to 4. 4 is not 
in either set, so it is not in the union. My final answer, therefore, is here, from negative infinity to 4, not included. And I can get that answer in interval notation. I have answered the question.